Listen, I'm usually not one of these pretentious assholes that goes around saying that this generation is the worst generation and so much worse than the last generations. Because anyone that says that, I'll send their ass back to 1950s, back to the fucking 1930s for the Great Depression. I'll send your ass back to when crack and HIV was first installed in our communities. Yeah, I said it. Installed. But anyway, I think that's something that's unique to this generation is that nobody likes each other anymore. Everyone is forming and breaking friendships based off of politics and opinions and shit. Nobody genuinely likes somebody's personality. No one genuinely likes somebody's presence or their spiritual essence. People like each other's opinions and people like approval and agreement. Example, I got a couple fans and online friends. They'll agree with me to the death of them. As soon as I make a video that they disagree with, wow, unsubscribed, I thought you were smart. I thought you were woke, bro. I thought you were conscious, bro. I'm so disappointed in you. You used to be bae. I even got some haters out here that take their time to stalk my videos and call me a nigger and call me a fag and all of this shit. But the moment they find a nice little video that they agree with, Wow, you finally came to your senses. I had a racist troll of mine asking me if I were taking smart pills because he agreed with me. So this whole time, you thought I was stupid, but now I'm smart because I agree with you. And as for a lot of these fans out here that say that they like me until I turn into a mulatto misogynist Uncle Tom that love me and idolize me as some sort of god, if you thought you liked me for so long, and the moment I disagreed with one of your politics or one of your beliefs, you throw me under the bus calling me a misogynist, calling me a racist, calling me an Uncle Tom, calling me this, a social justice warrior that you never liked me you liked the reflection of yourself that you saw in my opinions and my beliefs this whole generation is about motherfuckers caught up in their feelings and being overly sensitive about every little motherfucking thing and judging you with all kinds of insults if they don't agree with you i call out the white man's bullshit black power i'm conscious i'm woke the moment i call out the black community's bullshit I'm a Uncle Tom, I'm a coon, I'm not woke anymore. Hell, African Americans love to embrace a black Latino nigga, but as soon as I have a criticism about us as black people, you're not even really black though. Aren't you like mixed to something? Aren't you a mulatto? <clears throat> little did you know that even the dark-skinned African Americans had ancestors that were raped by white people, so they're also mixed. <clears throat> little did you know that there's also light-skinned people in Africa that never mixed with people. <clears throat> but I'm gonna save that for another video. The moment I'm defending women and calling out men's bullshit, I got feminists on my side, saying there needs to be more men like me. The moment I'm calling out women's bullshit, it's like if they're exempt from fucking criticism that I'm a misogynist now. I see this happening in the woke and conscious and feminist community all the time. A bunch of motherfuckers just having a whole mob mentality where they hear a comedian make a racist joke or a sexist joke and all of a sudden they're under all this political scrutiny as if they saw this fucking person as a god or some shit. All this PC bullshit where it's like if I'm not spitting whatever the fuck Tumblr is saying, I'm not woke enough. These intolerant motherfuckers got Kevin Hart apologizing for a sexist joke. He's a fucking comedian, not a politician. I don't know why he's letting these niggas' feelings get into his shit. I'm not necessarily a fan of Kevin Hart, but I can understand his craft. Somebody is not stupid just because I don't agree with them. Hell, Hitler's a fucking genius to me. I don't agree with the nigga, but I understand the nigga. I'ma lose a ton of followers just off of that one little statement. Whoever created white supremacy is one of the smartest motherfuckers in the world. If they weren't, how the hell would white people even accumulate so much generational wealth off of white supremacy. I don't agree with the shit. Does it fall under my moral compass? No, it does not. But I understand the shit. I know why it happened. I can perceive someone's thoughts and beliefs without having to suck their dick. Some of y'all disagree with me and act like I just fucked you in the ass. A lot of y'all motherfuckers love to talk about facts until the facts is against your opinion. Then you want to sit there looking stupid. There's some people that agree with me all the time and I will still say they're a dumb motherfucker. A lot of you motherfuckers is egotistical. You like your reflection. Everybody is looking in fucking mirrors all the time when they're looking at friendships. Nobody fucking likes each other. You don't fucking like me you like what i'm saying you like what i make you feel the moment you don't like what i'm saying you don't like me anymore the moment you don't like what i'm saying the moment i'm not catering to your fucking fifis i'm a sellout you unsubscribe motherfuckers like to have their dick stroked all the time i'm trying to stimulate thought telling you to fucking think for yourself not go on tumblr see a fucking meme and repost this shit without even researching it without even knowing what the fuck you're reposting talking about white man is a neanderthal one to four percent of neanderthal dna does not make somebody a fucking neanderthal and then when i call out your pseudoscience i'm not woke enough i'm not conscious enough white people don't get too comfortable because i know y'all like hearing shit like that when i'm criticizing black people i want to sit here with backhanded compliments and shit talking about finally a black man who finally knows what he's talking about. A black guy who finally gets it. No, suck my dick. Scram. Because the moment I say something about white supremacy affecting us today, you want to tell me to get over it. You want to say that I'm a social justice warrior. You want to say that I'm a tumblerina. I think some people sitting behind a computer screen beating off to fucking YouTube videos they agree with more than they beating off to Pornhub. Some of y'all motherfuckers act like y'all get a hard on when y'all fucking agree with me. Sending me inboxes like, yes, oh my God, you're bae. Thank you, young brother. You such a king. You know what black people need. Next week when I call out Hotep, 
sweatpants and black people's bullshit. Wow, I really thought you were woke. Shaking my head, you a sellout. You even got the Illuminati shit on the back of your head. But I thought you said we was Kangs. Ain't this the eye of Heru? I'm here to stimulate thought, not your fucking penis, not your vagina. I'm not here to look good for nobody, even though I might be doing it accidentally. <laughs> The conscious community needs to wake the fuck up and stop sitting here regurgitating everything they hear on fucking Tumblr. Acting like you want to kill a nigga because he believe in white Jesus. How are you friends with such and such YouTuber if they don't believe this or they don't believe that? Imagine if I made a criteria for all my friends and I said I can't be friends with you unless you're a tribal anarchist like me. I might as well do a motherfucking backflip on my neck because I'm not going to have any motherfucking friends. Not to sound pretentious or nothing, but I'm a weird motherfucker. Ain't that many people that really think like me. I don't have to fucking agree with you on every little thing in order for me to be friends with you. I see friends they hang out and all they talk is fucking politics. Niggas can't even enjoy a fucking game together. Niggas can't enjoy a fucking movie together without talking about how a scene looks sexist or a scene looks racist. Enjoy the fucking movie. Can't even go to a comedy club without saying, that's sexist, that's ableist, that's ageist. People over here deciding whether or not they like somebody based off of whether they're pro-ho or pro-ass or pro-dick or pro-choice or pro-abortion, pro-whatever. Instead of people uniting to stimulate thought and challenge each other, everybody's uniting to just have a fucking circle jerk blindly agreeing with each other on shit. Y'all looking at the man in the mirror. Hope you like my little show. It's the beast from the east. Eastside Harlem reppin'.